Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to make an adjustment on a Kydex holster. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So if you follow my channel, you know I recently did a video about Kydex holsters and what to look for and things like that when you're buying Kydex. Uh, one of the things I also discussed in that video was about you might need to make a minor adjustment to that holster. Uh, could be a fit issue, could be you know a radius issue, um, and that's what I'm going to do with this one is adjust uh, this corner here. So this is a holster I discussed in that video. This right here is for the Taurus TCP. Uh, here, the 380. And if you look, this radius right here is a little more squared off than I like. And because of that, it's, it can cause comfort issues. So if this was my, my skin, if you notice that corner can dig in there. I want that more rounded. And there's a few different ways to do it. It's a good old fashioned sandpaper. An emery board, just don't tell your wife that you stole her emery board to make Kydex holster adjustments. Uh, a file potentially, a uh, Dremel, and uh, I'm gonna use the Dremel. If you are not comfortable using a Dremel, uh, Dremel can take a lot of material off very quickly, so be careful of that. Uh, work just a little bit. You can always take more material away. You can't add it once you take it away. So we're gonna go and make an adjustment on this one to where that's a little more rounded and probably gonna be a little more comfortable wearing uh, because of being more rounded. So this right here is just a standard Chicago Electric Harbor Freight Dremel with an adjustment on speed. So I'm gonna put it on its lowest setting and so it's gonna go as slow as I can make it go and we're gonna make a minor adjustment here to this. So what I normally do is try getting it in a nice position where I can see it and see what I'm doing and I kind of start you want to do long strokes around because if you start right here it's going to adjust it's not going to adjust uh, at a gradual adjustment so I kind of start All right, I'm gonna adjust this back one here also. If you look, that one's actually more, uh, got more of a corner on it than the other, so I'm gonna come in here. I'm slowly getting that thing more of a round radius. What you're trying to do is focus on the corner that needs to be done, but yet feathering it into the other uh, up higher is what you're trying to do here. So I know I need to get that more rounded. All right, let's take a look. It's starting to form up. I'll usually take something and finish it up by hand. So I may want to come in here and um, do like this, kind of buff on it a little. Again, I'm trying to get that corner, right? So I can start, even if I get a little flat edge on it, that's okay, because then I'm going to take and round it and blend it in. So I'm gonna take a little more off right on this one because there's quite a bit of material that I can take off. So let me work on that. If 
I see that I can take a little more off this back. So again, working slow, I want to make sure that I'm not taking off too much material. Come in here. son as the cameraman say hello guys hi guys so he's out here helping me all right so that looks more rounded to me and I can put it up against my skin and see that it's not as much of a corner now once you do that it's not gonna be as smooth as where they polish the edge now if you've got a Dremel you can switch out your um, polishing wheel, and I've actually got a polishing, um, this right here is, I don't know, some kind of felt polisher. Um, you come in here and I'm gonna, turn the, I'm gonna turn it up a little higher now. Again, this will burn you the uh, kydex in one spot if you don't keep it moving. So keep it moving nice and smooth. That actually had a little polishing rouge um, on it from where I was doing something earlier. I'm gonna cut that speed back just a little. It's much easier to work um, slower than it is faster sometimes without damaging. Um, one thing I'll show you real quick, you wanna kind of bevel the edge the very corner you want to bevel that as best you can with something like this again that knocks that sharp edge that's going to be against your skin so what I'm doing is kind of holding that at a 45 degree angle just kind of slightly so I can make that edge nice and beveled come around to the back side here same thing So sometimes you might have your favorite Kydex holster that is almost perfect, but not quite. And then you can come in here and make it uh, nice uh, and sort of perfect for you by making that minor adjustment to it. Uh, you might have had that one little gripe about that holster, and now you can hopefully go in and fix that um, and straighten up anything. So yeah, that's definitely got more of a round uh, radius right there that I'm a little more happy with now that I've done it but anyway guys uh, work on your own holsters if need be and get them kind of where you want them uh, you can I mean maybe something as simple as just polishing uh, your holster may be great but maybe they got in a hurry and didn't polish all the edges nice uh, these um, Dremel tools are really uh, functional really uh, work really well for stuff like this they're not that expensive at Harbor Freight. I use mine quite a bit uh, for different projects that I have. And I'm just going in here and polishing that up a little more.
All right. There you go. So anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you got any questions, post those below. If you uh, have any experience with doing a minor adjustments to a holster uh, or your holster maker and would like to chime in, please do that. And as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.